Hey everyone, I want to talk about wallet on a chain. The whole reason for this, I had one of you the other day and I really hope when I edit this video I can find your comments, but you'd written to me and you'd asked for a video on wallet on a chains, why I don't own any, what I think of them, do I think they're worth buying. In short, I don't own any and I don't think they're worth buying. I'm just editing this at the moment. Hey everyone, I'm editing this at the moment. I've just realised I'm a massive liar. I have actually bought a wallet on a chain before. Do you remember the deal, the deal, Diorama one, the silver one? Loved it, but couldn't fit anything in it, so I sold it. Back in the day, <laughs> back, I think in 2016 or 2015, I remember you could get the classic wallet on a chain and I feel like it was about 900 pounds or 950. And I, at, at one point, I nearly bought it. And I nearly bought it for that reason that I've spoken about in videos before. How many of us, when we're saving up for a bag, do we go into a store and then get sidetracked with something we don't really want, but it's kind of, oh, I can afford it and it's, it's Chanel and I'm gonna love it, when actually we just need to hold fast and aim for the big thing that we want. It was one of those situations where I thought, hmm, wallet on a chain, they're quite popular, maybe I could make it work, and I'm so glad I did not buy it. In this video, I am focusing more on Chanel because I feel like when it comes to wallet on chains in general, like everyone pretty much does them, Dior, Hermes, any brand I think of, they have that in there artillery but I think that Chanel just when you think wallet on a chain for me anyway I think about Chanel and so I'm focusing on them now here is the thing earlier today when I went on the website to see I was like how much is a wallet on a chain now anyway guys they're nearly two thousand pounds some of them are over two thousand pounds I had to I actually had to write it down I did a double take the classic wallet on a chain, which looks like this. This was the one I was telling you last time I looked at this, it must have been 2016. This was 950 pounds. It is now 1,920. Just to put this into perspective for you. This bag here from Louis Vuitton, Alma BB, the best bag you can buy for under a thousand pounds. Actually, there are so many bags you can buy that are under a thousand pounds that are really worth it. But when it comes to the halo brands, such as Dior, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, that uh, mm, when you get to under a thousand pounds, it gets really limiting and you're in wallet on a chain territory. Although according to Chanel, you're not in that territory anymore. Like you need to up your budget. But this, I bought this for 600 and, 50 or 80 pounds it's now let me just double check this it's 945 pounds for the money that you would spend on a chanel wallet on a chain which you could probably at a push fit your mobile phone into and your credit cards you can get yourself a whole bag and this fits a good amount of stuff so that that is why I think they're completely not worth it. And you might disagree with me on it, but all you have to do is look at how much they are. Some of them, oh God, I was looking earlier and I couldn't believe it. Some of them are, a lot of them are over 2000 pounds. There's this one I found, which is 2,340. Now, in case you're thinking, well, I don't really want a Louis Vuitton, so maybe, Maybe I will just get the wallet on a chain because I want a bag from Chanel, but you know, Chanel's like four or 5,000. Yes, but let me just compare it to this. This is the mini square flap. I feel like the mini square in particular is making a real comeback. I have the biggest seller's remorse in relation to a mini square do, do any of you remember, I bought it in 2016 and it was patent coral and I ended up selling it because the chain on it, on the minis, I feel like they might have fixed this and I'm going to let you know because next week or the week after, whenever I get a chance to actually like leave and do something for myself, I'm going to try this bag because this is in a new colourway for spring summer 20. I think it's like the pre-collection actually. So this is like a limited edition and I really like the way the hardware on this is matte 
uh, and this bag either comes in navy blue, pink, I feel I've seen it in green, but here's the thing. Wallets on a chain, 3,000, no. Wallets on a chain, 2,340. The mini square flap, which is a, a bag. I got the price wrong again of the mini flap. It's actually 2,400. So that's, that's really what I'm trying to say here is a lot of the time when you go and look at small leather goods and I'm gonna show you in one moment some small leather goods that I in many ways regret buying because I could, if I'd have waited a bit, had a whole bag for that money. But I think most of the time, small leather goods are not worth it. Um, two other examples I wanted to show you. One in particular, I really like the look of this bag. This is, this looks like a new style as well and it's, a, it's basically a bucket bag. But look, 2,420. So that there's what, like a hundred pounds difference between the wallet and a chain and an actual entire bag. It depends on how much you carry around or if, I think if, even if money was no object, I still wouldn't buy one. As with before, I've had one and ignore what I'm saying. No, don't ignore it because I still think they're a waste of money. And that's no disrespect to anyone who's got one and loves it, by the way, I know that you know that I've bought things and you're all like, it's junk, it's rubbish, why, 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 why? It's fine. Because I can't think of many examples where I've needed to leave the house and I've only taken with me my wallet. I mean, honestly, if I really think about it, the times when I do that, it's normally when I'm going from the house down the road to the post office and back again. And in order to do that, if I can save myself 2,000 pounds by not buying a wallet on a chain, then it really doesn't bother me because I just take my existing wallet and put it in my pocket and that's kind of fine for me. Small leather goods, I mentioned earlier about these and why I don't buy them. Now I'm gonna show you these and my deal wallet, which is in my bag and I don't even know where my bag is right now. But these are all of the small leather goods that I have and actually, most of these are really old, two in particular, and I think a third round here, they're really old. I'm talking about from over 10 years ago, where I was at a point where I wasn't earning enough for bags, so I'd do the small leather good thing. I'd be like, oh, I can afford a wallet, I'll buy a wallet. Now, if I start with something that's newer, that I bought on a whim, it's this. This is the Chanel Boy card holder. It's kind of, you know, card holder, but you can keep coins in it. This I bought at the um, boutique in Paris when I went a couple of years ago, like back in 2017. This was the biggest ripoff, and if this was in London, I would never have bought this. Um, and if I may explain for any of you who are like, why did you buy them? Here's the thing. So when you go to the Paris store, I know it's really dumb, but if you're into luxury, you, you, you might get it. If you buy anything from the Chanel store, you get the white carry bag. I know I did say it was dumb, okay, but that's it. Now, when I went into the store, it was at that point, it was in the summer, it was in August, and it was at that point where the summer collection had all sold out and the pre-fall collection hadn't come in yet. So I go in there and there was literally slim pickings. There was nothing that, that even vaguely appealed. And I ended up buying I was like, oh, I really want to buy something so I get the bag and so I can say I've had the experience and after you've bought something, they go and let you sit on the stairs and have your photo taken. I know, I know. And I ended up buying this, 700 pounds, waste of money. This is now, when I looked earlier, I think it is still 700 pounds, but um, there are some on, on the website at Chanel for like over 900. And again, just to come back to this comparison, 945 although I paid 650 for it because the prices have gone up since, 700. Now to show you two other wallets that I bought, you know I said when I started my collection, wallets were the things that I bought, wallets and belts, because that's what I could afford. So this is the first. This is the, I really like this print. I know this print now is really tacky, but I, it's quite cheerful at the same time. This is that um, multicolor print from Louis Vuitton and this is like a long wallet. I don't use long wallets anymore because most of my bags are kind of quite small. That probably would fit in, but I just don't really use them. But I keep them. 
dropping everything in. But I keep them for memory reasons. And then the other wallet is this. This is from Dior. This was about £250. It wasn't... I mean... When did I buy it? It must have been like 2008 or something. Let me know what you think to any of you who have bought wallet on chains. What do you think? Do you think I'm completely wrong? Or I really want to know as well from those of you who, like me, maybe you bought one back in the day or maybe you thought about it and you still think or thought. I thought, oh, well, with price increases, it's probably gone up to like 1,100, 1,200. I didn't think that the classic, the most basic one would be nearly 2,000 pounds. I was really shocked when I saw that earlier. And I would love to know what any of you think about small leather goods in general. I know that when I, when I go onto Instagram, and I see those, you know, those top down photos of in someone's bag where they've got everything neatly lined up and it's all color coordinated. Whenever I see those pictures, I'm like, oh, that looks really nice. You know, like all pink wallets in different shades. But then when I think about it, I'm like, yeah, but who's going to be looking into your bag apart from you? Not that I'm saying that isn't nice. I do think there is a certain satisfaction from when everything matches. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.